Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Dentistry Made Easy. The topic for today is growth spurts from orthodontic. This is a subtopic from a very important topic from orthodontic that is your general principles and concepts of growth. This is a very small yet important topic from your exams point of view or it is viva or in general it is an important topic. So what is growth? According to one of the definition, it is increase in the size. The basic concepts of growth are pattern, variability and timing. So to know the abnormalities, we should have the knowledge of normality. So to know what exactly abnormal is, you should know what normal is. And this is explained by the various aspects of growth that is your pattern, variability and timing. So pattern, it is the important fe feature of your growth. So it refers to as it is a set of relationship at a given point of time and it also refers to the change in this relationship. So there are four topics in this pattern. So that is your cephalocaudal growth of cephalocaudal gradient of growth, scamon's curve, rhythm of growth and the growth spurts. I'm going to cover all this in my further videos. So starting off with what is growth spurts. So in this video, I'm going to cover about what exactly it is, what are the timing and what is the clinical implication of this growth spurts? Like why do you need to know this growth spurts? What is growth spurts? Growth, it does not take place in a steady manner in a growing individual. So it is not like in a continuous manner. There are certain periods where there is a sudden acceleration of growth which occurs and these periods are known as growth spurts. It is believed to be due to physiological changes in the hormonal secretions. So it's like when you are growing, when you are in your growth phase, so there are times when there is a sudden increase in your growth. So these are nothing but your growth spurts where you suddenly increase. And this is due to your hormonal secretion. For example, we can take of the puberty. So there are these secondary sexual characteristics that appears due to secretion of the hormones. So that are your testosterones in males and estrogen in females. So this can be an example of why there are growth spurts. So it can be because of the changes in the hormonal secretions. Like there is a changes in the hormonal secretions, sudden increase in your hormonal secretion can cause sudden growth. So these are nothing but your growth spurts. Now what are the timings? The timing it varies in males and females. It is earlier in girls compared to boys. So it says that growth it occurs early in girls. In general, three L's should be considered in boys. So what are three L's that should be considered in boys? That is, it starts late. Now growth spurts, it starts late in boys. Now I'm going to explain like how. Then it extends longer. Like the duration of that spurt is longer in males. And because of that, it gives a larger growth in males when it is compared to females. So these are a very important like three L's that is considered in boys. So the timing of growth spurts are it is divided into prenatal and postnatal. So prenatal in females is immediately after immediately before birth and in males it is same immediately before birth. Postnatal it is into three phases. So first is your first growth spurt is infantile or childhood. In female it occurs at one to three years. It is very active in the first year and first few months. So females in females first to third year is a growth spurt period. In males it is same for one to three years. It is very active in the first year and first few months. There is a sudden increase, sudden change, sudden growth during your one to three years for both females and males and the velocity is 25 centimeters per year. So at what rate it grows so that is 25 centimeter. Now the second growth spurt is during your mixed dentition period that is the juvenile or mid childhood. In females it is at 7 to 9 years and in males it is 8 to 11 years. Now you can see over here it starts late in males. In females it is 7 to 9 but in males it is at the age of 8. So males they grow later than the females. So girls they start growing in earlier age and at that time the velocity is 5 to 6 centimeters per year. Now over here 
here you can see the growth spurt the duration is for two years but over here it is for three years so the second l it extends longer so in males it extends longer and the last is your third growth spurt that is your pubertal that is your adolescent so it is 11 to 13 years for females and it is 14 to 16 years for males and the velocity the rate at which they grow is 8 to 12 centimeters per year so this is the time of your puberty and these are the timings of the growth spurts now this is a diagrammatic explanation of the same timings so this is nothing but your growth spurt this is a mixed dentition timing so this dotted ones over here as you can see the dotted ones it indicates girls and this plain one it is for the boys so as you can see over here it starts earlier in girls but it is late in boys so as this you can see so this is the second that is your mixed dentition spurt this is your third that is pubertal growth spurt this is your post pubertal and the growth is completed over here as you can see so after this stage only your orthognathic surgeries can be taken up so this is a like a diagram of these growth spurts which you need to draw in your exam like you can draw the same diagram with such colors so that you can fetch more marks now what is the clinical implication of this growth spurts now this is the main part of this video like why you should study about growth spurts so it is important for a successful treatment planning in orthodontics so it helps in treatment planning it helps to decide the timing of orthodontic treatment so when your orthodontic treatment should be done it helps in determining that whether to start the treatment at the time of peak growth or after the active growth is completed so when the child is in its peak growth so at that time you should start your treatment or whether all the growth spurts are completed after that you need to start your treatment it helps to decide that timing so the applications are first is your arch expansion it can be undertaken during this growth spurts so your growth so arch expansion is nothing but your skeletal expansion so usually this is done during this growth spurt period then the malocclusion which is corrected surgically is done after this so the malocclusion which need to be corrected surgically like with the help of surgeries are done after the growth spurts are completed when the individual has grown completely after that you have to do your treatment which requires surgeries then the interceptive treatment are performed during this time now your orthodontics is divided into four types that is your preventive interceptive corrective and surgical so preventive is nothing but the primary preventive phase where you actually are preventing malocclusion so interceptive is it is known as a secondary preventive major so they are the procedures that are undertaken at an early stage of malocclusion to eliminate or reduce the severity of the same so you actually do your interceptive treatment to reduce the severity if you have started seeing a malocclusion so it shouldn't go into much further stage so you are doing this interceptive treatment so this interceptive treatments they are performed during this time during your growth spurs period time so it is like correction of skeletal malocclusion during this period is the best choice avoiding any surgeries surgeries obviously are avoided when you are doing this interceptive treatments so it's like when there are some malocclusion so they can, can be corrected by functional appliances or by orthopedic appliances like for example, I'll give you an example. If there's a patient of class 2 skeletal correction, so you can use activators, bionators, like you can use this functional appliances rather than doing surgery. So this is your interceptive treatment performed during this time. Then the next is to differentiate the growth. So whether it is normal or pathologic, it can be determined. So it is like there is a great deal of individual variation. But puberty and adolescent growth spurts occur on an averagely near about two years earlier in girls than in boys. This phenomena, it has an important impact on the timing of the functional appliance therapy, which must be done earlier in girls than in boys to take the advantage of the adolescent's growth spurt. So, like, you can help 
now you as you know girls they grow earlier than boys so about that functional appliance therapy it should be done earlier in girls than in boys so that we can take advantage of that growth spurt in girls it should be done late in it should be done in late mixed dentition stage and in boys it is done in early permanent dentition stage as the growth spurt is late in boys so the next one is onset of menarche in females and change in the voice in males it indicates that they have crossed the peak height velocity of the pubertal growth spurt so now this is like the last growth spurt that we have studied that was your adolescence pubertal growth spurt so the difference like how you sh how you know about they have crossed this growth spurt is in females there is onset of menarche and in males you'll see there is change in the voice so it indicates that they have like crossed all the growth spurts and they have grown completely so you can't do now the interceptive treatments in this case so now you have to go if there are any skeletal malocclusions you have to go for the surgeries so these are the clinical implication and this also helps in determining whether the person is growing normally or not so it also helps in various form to know whether a child is in a normal growth phase so this was the implications and that was it of thank you so much now this is a very important topic like as i said general principles and concepts of growth now there are many topics sub topics in this whole topic itself so there are those theory of growth then the mechanism of growth which are again very important then the mechanism of how your bone is grows so i'm going to cover about that also so that you can know about it well so thank you so much and i hope you find this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and subscribe to my channel so that you will be aware about what all the videos are coming thank you so much